What's up Sailor Guardians? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon. Today we are unboxing a slew of items from Japan. The first being a whole box of cute items that I got from Bleepo. So Bleepo is partnering with me on this portion of today's video to show you a few of the items that you can purchase from their website. Not only do they have Sailor Moon, but they have all sorts of really yummy snacks, they have candy, and they have other anime and merchandise goods. So today I am sharing a variety of items, not only from Sailor Moon, but also from another one of my favorite franchises. So I had to pick up this adorable clear file from Bleepo. This features the Sailor Moon and Sanrio collaboration. This is such a cute clear file and it actually sold out in the Sailor Moon store, so I was very happy that Bleepo had it in stock. This is another item that was out of stock in the Ghibli store when I went to Japan a couple of months ago, so I saw it in stock on Bleepo's website and I had to pick it up. This is a really cute crossbody pouch of Totoro. It's super super fluffy and furry and adorable and it has this clear pouch. So you can actually use this as like an Ita bag and fill it up with super cute pins or super cute merchandise from my neighbor Totoro and have like this whole vibe going. I also really appreciate that the crossbody strap is also super soft so it won't snag your hair and it's adjustable as well. I fell in love with this brand last time I went to Japan and I was obsessed with getting these chips from like every single Family Mart or 7-Eleven that I passed. So these are from Chipstar. These are really, really tasty chips. I like them because they don't cheap out on the seasoning and they make their stuff like super, super seasoned and so delicious and crunchy. So really good chips. I will be obsessed with them every single time I go to Japan. And now I know I can buy them from Bleepo, so I'm gonna do that all the time. I also picked up some of my absolute favorite Kit Kats, which you really can't find here unless you go to like an Asian market. These are chestnut flavored Kit Kats, which are chef's kiss. I love these Kit Kats so much. They are some of my favorites. They're so yummy and they are not overpowering and they taste so much like chestnuts. Oh, it's good. If you've never had roasted chestnuts, definitely get some. They're absolutely delicious, especially when they're like brand new out of the oven and they're super hot. Oh, so good. Definitely try yourself some chestnut Kit Kats if you get a chance. And this is the last item I got from Bleepo. I figured this would be really useful for the next time I go to Japan. You end up getting so many coins when you're walking around cities and trying to use them all up so they're not weighing you down. So this is a coin pouch of a cute little Totoro. It's really adorable. And the way you open it is via the ears. One ear is tied to the back and one ear is tied to the front so you just split them and then you can open your little coin pouch. But I figured this would be perfect for all the coins that I get in Japan when I'm running around because I like that it kind of locks into place and it's got some force behind it so it's a little harder to open and it's made out of silicone because you know all those metal coins they get kind of dirty so this will be a nice little thing easy to clean and just wonderful to carry with me in Japan so I'm going back in April perfect timing to get a new coin pouch if you like what you see here make sure to enter Blippo's kawaii prize giveaway right down below you have 10 different ways to enter and they will choose the giveaway winner after it ends on January 26 2020 Blippo also just released their 2024 Fukubukuro or Lucky Bags, so definitely check those out on their website. Check out all the different merchandise that they have on their website. Everything is super cute and super kawaii, and you can get a free gift with purchase. All you have to do is click the link down below, and there is no minimum. So thank you so much to Blippo for partnering with me for that portion of the video. Continuing on. So Sanrio recently added a bunch of these items to their international store online not just the Japanese ones. So you can actually get these from the international store now and they ship super, super quickly. So the first item that I was able to grab, this really cute like traveling case. It's not super structured. It would definitely like collapse upon itself if it was under something heavy, but this can fit a slew of items. And I like how it's built. I like that it has space up here for like makeup brushes as well as a little mesh pouch on the back of it too. This is a series of stickers, just a cute little bag of stickers that I can use for all my little tech items that I have around my household. And this is a clear file set that features all the chibi Sailor Moon characters with their Sanrio characters next to them. This also came with a secondary clear file, a smaller one, and a miniature clear file down at the bottom that features 
Sailor Moon, and Hello Kitty. This is so pretty. This is like made out of acrylic. It's the Eternal Moon article with Sailor Moon and Hello Kitty on the inside of it. I believe this is a compact. It is! Oh, that's precious. That's so cute. Okay, so here's how it works. And to open it, you just slide it open like so. There you guys are on my iPhone. Hello! How are you? Apparently when you order from Sanrio online, you also get a cute little bonus item. So this was the bonus freebie that I got. It's a magnet of the little twin stars. So continuing on, I did do some shopping on the Japanese reseller websites. This was one of those items I wanted to pick up. It's another travel case. This one is featuring the Sailor Starlights. So we have the Sailor Starlights as well as Sailor Moon on there and it says Sailor Moon Cosmos. These came out at Anime Japan 2023. They're a couple of holographic can badges. Super, super pretty, but you could not find them outside of that convention, that event. So I had to use a reseller in order to find them. This is Sailor Moon's Kaleidoscope. This was the D prize from the Sailor Moon Eternal Let's Party Ichiban Kuji. Luckily with a lot of these older Ichiban Kujis, these items are fairly inexpensive and pretty easy to find. Uh, this item, I believe, ah yes, it's a pen. It is a pen. So the pen pops off like so. You just slide it off like that and it turns into a regular pen. That's so cute. Now it is very cheap, it's very plasticky, but I like that it's it's the kaleidoscope, it's cool. One of my friends ended up gifting me one of these beautiful acrylic stands and I liked it so much that I decided to go ahead and look for the rest of them. This was the E prize during the Eternal Sailor Guardians Ichiban Kuji. These are some of the prettiest acrylic stands I've seen and part of it is because I love the backgrounds on them, but also the art is very, very beautiful. So here we have Chibi Moon, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. There's Venus, that's the one my friend got me. Then we have Sailor Saturn, Eternal Moon, Mercury, Mars, and Jupiter. Just something that I snagged from, I believe this might have been the, ah yes, the Hana Biori collaboration with a flower garden in Japan. This is very cute stainless steel tumbler. So that will definitely keep your drinks cold or warm, depending on what you put in there. They also released this full set of canvas boards. These are like little miniature canvas art prints of each of the Sailor Guardians. So each of them comes with a stand and you can put it on your stand like so and put it in your collection. They are really, really cute. And I thought these would look so adorable if I do like character shelves for each of the different characters. This is a three coins collaboration tote bag. This is canvas, really nice material. And it features a couple of screenshots from Sailor Moon Cosmos, as well as Eternal Sailor Moon on the front. The gradient of the moon here is really, really pretty. Now three coins is a budget store. So you're not gonna see a lot of high quality items coming out of three coins in terms of this collaboration goes. So no like fancy pouches or interior lining with this, but this would be a great shopping bag though. I was able to get this through the Pretty Guardians fan club and I was totally impressed by the fact that they came out with a really unique poster that was printed on canvas. So it's just a simple black and white poster. Of course, I need to flatten it here using like an iron or a book or something. So I'll flatten this out before I hang it. This is some of my favorite art of Sailor Moon with tuxedo mask. I feel like they just look so romantic, so beautiful together. And I love how they're looking at each other. It's so pretty. And at the top it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. So in order to hang this, it does have a couple of loops that you can hang it from. So it'll be fairly easy to hang. I have a couple of these really cute pouches or makeup bags. Uh, this is actually, two pouches in one. So it comes with this acrylic planetary symbol on the zipper. Open it and you get this pouch on the inside with the character on it, as well as this see-through one on the outside that has glitter on the lining. I also picked up a similar one for Sailor Moon, which features of course Sailor Moon, and then we have the glitter lining larger pouch on the outside. So I'm loving that this is padded. This is for a tablet. It's like a tablet case and it is fully lined and fully padded as well. So you do have a zipper pouch on the back where you can put like your USB-C cord or cable and your plug and then the other side which will fit I believe it's like an 11 inch tablet or something similar to that. Not too super big but this would be perfect for 
uh, most folks with their tablets. Oh, the back also has a zipper. Cool, I didn't know that. That's nice. These are some more Ichiban Kuji items. This is a beautiful hand mirror. Very, very heavy. This thing is super heavy. I love the rose gold. And then we have the mirror here. This is really stunning and lovely. Very heavy. This is a jewelry stand, which also features Sailor Moon's eternal tiara. It's not super tall. It's pretty short and it is definitely very, very inexpensively made. It's a pretty cheap item. <laughs> it's plastic. I think this is lovely. If you want to hang some bracelets off of this, for example, this would work wonderfully for that. We got this Ichiban Kuji called the Princess Collection and I got a couple of plates from this. I have Sailor Saturn here. Here we have the one of Princess Serenity, Sailor Moon. This is also from the Princess Collection. It's a pair of wine glasses. One features Princess Serenity on it. It's really nice, very, very beautifully made. We also have Prince Endymion on the other one. If any of y'all are getting married out there, this would be so pretty on a wedding day for like bride and groom. This is a figure that came from an Ichiban Kuji called Antique Style. I believe. Ishiban show figure antique style. Yes. It's basically Usagi in my grandmother's pajamas. It's a very, very interesting figure of Sailor Moon of Usagi. And it's in an outfit that's kind of unique and a little bit strange. Uh, but Luna is looking at her super cute. And I love that it's kind of heavy. It's a pretty durable piece. It feels kind of decent. Her face is really cute in it too. So I don't know what it is about this figure, but I kind of like her, even though she's in this very unique dress, this very, very strange outfit that we've never seen Usagi in before. I don't even know what is in here. There's cat hair on it because it's been in my room for so long. So let's go ahead and open this and find out what's in here. That's always a really fun game to play for a collector. If you haven't opened any of your items in a while, uh, the, the game of what is in this box? Who knows? You never know. It's a total mystery. So we're gonna find out together what in the world is in this box. Okay, we have a couple of pads. That's a clue. We have a clue. All right. Okay, I completely forgot that I got these characters. So here we have these look up characters. They're supposed to be like desktop looking upwards characters that you can set on a desk. So here we have Super Sailor Moon and we have Super Sailor Chibi Moon. I don't know why these things are so expensive if you purchase them on the aftermarket, but they are. Uh, but you could still find them in the Sailor Moon store, so they really shouldn't be that expensive. But these ones were special because they came from the Bandai website where you can get premium Bandai special bonus items like cushions that they can sit on uh, because that makes complete sense. I was also able to grab these two look up characters in the line. I have Eternal Sailor Chibi Moon as well as Eternal Sailor Moon right here. I have also pre-ordered the rest of the look up characters so I will have all of them in the line whenever they release. Here's a clear file I grabbed from the Anime Japan event. This came with the badge that I had purchased. I'm also extremely excited about the these. This is the Sailor Cosmos Q Posket, which officially is the very first figure that we got of Sailor Cosmos. Everybody was so excited about these, and now they're pretty common. You can find these quite often, so don't spend a lot of money on them. They are very, very common, very easy to find, as are the rest of the Q Posket series. I will be doing a entire Q Posket video, so I'm going to save the unboxing of these for that video. So subscribe if you are interested in seeing a whole Q Posket lineup video. And lastly, for my video today, I have these three characters. So this is Sailor Star Maker, Fighter, and Healer from the Sailor Starlights. Of course, this is the Cosmos edition, so we have the Cosmos characters from the movies. This is the newest ones in the Bandai Namco Figure Arts mini line. So we have 24, 25, and 26, 126. So far, I have all of the Figure Arts minis that they have come out with, and I have discovered <laughs> that they are kind of annoying to put together because they're so small. They have so many small little parts. So I, this is another item that I'm not going to unbox today because it would take a while and they are fairly irritating to put their hands on. If you do wanna see me doing an unboxing of Figure Arts minis, I have posted that on my YouTube channel and it's kind of annoying like how numb your fingers get when you're trying to deal with these teeny tiny parts and trying to stick the arms on their shoulders 
because they're all adjustable. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. So now I have a giant pile of merchandise from Japan that I have shown you here today. If you have any questions about any of those items, make sure to leave your questions down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more unboxing and haul videos like this one. Thanks for watching, Janai.